Welcome and shalom, beloved. This is Rabbi Schneider, and I've got another scripture for you today that most of you are familiar with. From the book of Proverbs, I'm reading chapter 9, verse number 10. Hear the word of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. I really want you to think about this for a second. It says that the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. But you know, we live today in a Christian culture that has moved in to a, such a, a, a hyper-stressing of grace that we're afraid to talk any longer about the fear of the Lord. But I want you to know, beloved, the grace of God is not opposed to the fear of the Lord. In fact, to fear the Lord is actually a gift of God's grace because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. In other words, when we read the book of Romans, which is the most precise theological treatise in the entire New Testament, Paul begins in the book of Romans by showing mankind that he's guilty before God and in danger of eternal death. And it's only after Paul points out that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God that he goes on to present the solution, Yeshua, Jesus. But today we oftentimes, we don't want to talk about the fear of the Lord. We don't want to talk about hell. We don't want to talk about people uh, being guilty in their sin. We just want to talk about how much God loves everybody and all the good things God wants to do for everybody, which is 100% true. But you know what, beloved? We need to be biblical in our approach. It's the Bible that says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It's the Bible that teaches us that salvation begins with understanding that we're guilty before God and that we need to repent. Jesus said, unless you repent, you'll perish. And so I just want to restore today this concept of the fear of the Lord. You know, the Bible tells us that the fear of the Lord is clean and it endures forever. Beloved, to fear the Lord is a beautiful thing. And when you fear the Lord in a healthy way, I'm not talking about in a demonic way where the devil tries to put people in bondage, but I'm talking about a clean fear of the Lord. That's God's gift for you because it keeps us, beloved, walking down the straight and narrow path that leads to life. God bless you. I love you. Pass this on to a friend.